But what if a customer wants to set up auto pay rules uh, so that they don't want to receive notification, but rather just set up an auto pay rule that already schedules when I want to make payment for those invoices that are coming due? Well, that's what this is for. We've introduced a capability to allow your customer base uh, to set up payment rules uh, that they can configure uh, via either a JD Edwards application where your salesperson can assist them, uh, or uh, they can configure via our e-payments portal uh, by logging into the portal, they can configure it themselves. And what some of our customers are in, in conversation with them, what they're thinking of doing here is if you do set up auto pay rules and you have it set up you know, where you offer them some sort of discount for early payment, you can tie the two in order to get that early payment discount, maybe whatever 1% off or whatever it is um, that you wanna offer them. Uh, you set up an auto pay rule so that they're always scheduled to pay. And if they don't make that payment or don't set up the auto pay rule, then obviously then uh, they're at risk at lo losing those discounts. So it's they try to match that up so that, that you're collecting um, as quickly as possible based on rules that are configured. Now, these rules are highly configurable uh, by you. You can set up different options. Uh, so uh, obviously it's by customer, you can set up different uh, rules. And uh, the first thing, it can be based on invoice date, uh, invoice due date, excuse me, and you can set specifically. So if it's based on invoice date, how many days prior uh, to invoice date does the customer want to pay? Is it three days? Is it seven days? Is it 10 days? Is it 15 days? Whatever it is. Um, it could be on invoice date itself. And again, it's similar to invoice due date. This would be how many days immediately after the invoice date. Is it paid immediately on invoice date? One day after, 10 days after, 15 days after, whatever it is. Uh, you can have a fixed payment fixed on a specific uh, day of the month. Maybe they want to pay you, you know, once a month on the 30th, on the last day of the month, on the 15th, whatever it is, it, they, they want to pay all invoices due on that day and, and, and for one charge or one ACH transfer. Same with, you know, same day of the week. Uh, maybe they want to uh, pay on a specific day of the week. Every Tuesday, we'll make payment of any invoices that are due. So as you can see, you have multiple options here that are available to the user. Uh, they can also set up a specific bank uh, 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 card to be used, or they can set up a bank account to be used for payment. And they can even put limits, like uh, don't ex you know, uh, fix the amount or don't exceed, you know, if by some chance I have a large amount of, of of invoices that were selected for payment, well, with this next payment, I don't want to exceed $1,000 or $15 or, or $1,500 or whatever it is. And this rule can last for a specific period of time, never ends or a specific date. And I can even put this rule on hold if the customer has an issue at that time and maybe they call in, I can place it on hold and put a release date as to when to release that rule off. So this allows you flexibility in configuring rules um, based on uh, what your customer's needs are. And by doing that, then once those rules are configured, uh, there is a, a batch report that again, you would schedule in your um, uh, J JD Edwards Enterprise One scheduler that would go ahead and generate the invoice payments uh, due and, and process uh, those against the payment tenders that they've configured. So this UBE would then uh, run uh, against uh, those rules and uh, go through and process whatever payments are due for the invoices that match that rule requirement. Uh, so this will then process, go through, um, validate any of the rules, auto select uh, those um, invoices and schedule uh, the payment uh, due uh, based on the, the invoices. So here is what it's already scheduled. So here for this first customer, uh, it selected one invoice 
and it's going to pay using an Amex of 531 on 323. Uh, so uh, basically uh, do immediate. Uh, for this customer, again, what they're scheduled is and, and payment again, immediate and so on and so forth. So based on what they've selected, it will go scheduling each of the payments to be uh, processed. And then when that date hits, it will go ahead and uh, uh, pay uh, those, um, uh, those invoices and process those invoices and charge the credit card or make an ACH transfer.